But let's start on iOS. So in the iOS world, yes. In the iOS world, it used to be the case that you had images in the resource uh, is a resource folder I, I get them mixed up between android and ios now i jump back and forth so much there is a sort of a standard folder for resources in ios and it is called yes resources look at that and you can even see a couple examples here there is a naming convention that they used to use where you'd have like a file.png and a file at 2x.png and a file at 3x.png to hit the three different file sizes. And this technique still works and it's kind of, it's a little weird it seems to have images based on the name of the file, but that's just how they do it. So used to do it, all right? Okay, so this is cool. So the new way that they do it is they now have these asset catalogs and an asset catalog is a list of all of the resources typically images in your in your um, in your folder and you can provide a little bit of additional metadata about it which is really nice and I believe you can do some other fancy things on the um, on the uh, back end when you upload it to the App Store and it can shake out all of the images that aren't needed for a given download which is which is nice so uh, I think they just give us a default asset catalog here. And so I'm going to double click on images. And we're going to see already right off the bat, there is there are a set of um, loading icons. And we're going to need to go in and fiddle with that at some point. Uh, but the next thing we're going to do is to create a new... Um, image set, image set being, I don't know, I mean that pretty well describes it, doesn't it? It's a set of images. They're going to be usually at 1x, 2x, and 3x. Okay, it, this UI is a little weird. It's called images here, and I think you can right click and rename, and we can call this uh, divide, because the image that think it would be good to start working on is this one right here and so yeah but but I guess we probably need to we need to get an image so we'll be able to go in here and in divide we'll do at 1x and um, C temp mobile mobile c dev mobile calc mobile calc at c and i know i put the files in here but all right at 2x at 3x and and now you're asking me you're saying lee why can I not create a file when that file already exists? What? what are you talking about? No, that's not what you're saying. You're saying, Lee, okay, now that I've got these images into the resource folder, how do I get them back out? And the answer is we gave that thing a name called divide, the image set, a name called divide, and we can pull it back out by going into, I'm going to go into, iOS and we're going to go to the main view controller and there is a button divide. Oh, oh, there is someone complaining loudly. I can hear it. Someone is saying, Lee, I cannot read that. Please put it up to 225. Wow. That's so big. Hopefully that works for everybody. Okay, now, is that really that big? Is that really the size you guys want? Someone call in and complain, that seems awfully big. Button divide. Now, we don't really want any text in there anymore. 
instead, and I'll just start writing code. I'll organize this later. Red green refactorate. Button divide dot set image. There's a set background image too, and I don't think we want that because the background image will stretch and things appear on top of it. And I don't know. I, I just think we want set image. You can customize the image better too. You can say, uh, I want to push it down and left and you can change the offsets there. So we need a UI image. We'll call this the divide image. And once again, there's this for state, and this is going to give us the option of saying, this is going to give us the option of saying uh, when you are um, tapping and releasing, you can do a different one. We're just going to do the, the normal state for now. And a divide image is a UI image dot from bundle and the bundle name is divide and there is a 50 50 chance that this is going to work ah oh, i gotta love live coding I, i'm feeling pretty good about it the ui image again is the it's the ui kit which is you know ios groups all of their all of their code into these different apis and ui kits one of them uh, and ui kits the higher level there's lower level image stuff you can do and we'll get into that at some point maybe when we get into animations probably but it has a static factory method off of it called from bundle and there are others as well that maybe at some point from file I guess you can probably just get it off the randomly off the file system that would be kind of a weird thing to do okay anyway this is the most common UI image up from bundle and and I just hit F5 and I you know, I guess we're gonna see how this is gonna work oh except for the fact that I should really double check because I'm building for Android right now which isn't going to do us much good at all. Not going to do us much good at all. So I'm going to right click on iOS, say set as startup project, and then I'm building debug for the iPhone simulator, and I suppose an iPhone 6s sounds reasonable. And I think we can, we can fiddle around with this. It couldn't find my divide.png. Isn't that interesting? Let's go back in and see what happened. They're gone. Oh, it's not weird. I guess that was that error message we got, right? All right. Well, let's re-import them. Divide. Divide 2x. Divide it 3x. Control S. In fact, Save all. Oh, that's weird. Those images should be there. 60, 120, and 180. So it's it's right. It's figured them out. It's It's got them. They should be visible, though. I don't know. Good thing I only gave this a 50-50 chance. I should definitely... Definitely... Play Vegas. Oh, hey, it built this time. Okay. Oh, it's been fast. Okay. That could be a bad sign. Fast build. And what we can maybe do just to verify that we're using the 2x version of this. Sometimes, sometimes I like I just want to know. Oh. Oh, no. It almost worked, except not quite. Let's do this. Let's just delete that bundle. Let's assume something bad happened with it. Oh, there are my images. 
there are my images. All right, I'm still gonna assume something bad happened to it. I'm gonna delete this one. Am I sure? Yes, I am sure. I wanna create a new image set. I know this is a really complicated thing to do here. Xamarin. What, what is that? What, what are these? What is it doing? I'm tempted to just, I, you know, I've seen a little bugginess in this uh, image UI editor image resources, but this is pretty weird. Can I just delete it? Can I? Okay, we're gonna delete it. Oh, I'm sure. Oh, I am sure that I wanna delete it. I'm gonna delete it, I'm gonna close it. I'm going to open it. I'm going to new it up, a new image set. It's not gonna be weird at all. Hey, it's not weird at all. Okay, great. And let's give it a name. I'm showing you a different way to give it a name this time. The last time I right clicked on here and maybe that was the problem, I don't know. I'm gonna call this D-I-V-I-D-E. Keyboard shortcut there is F4. F4 gets you into the properties. And we're gonna say divide and divide it to X and divide it three X and save all and close and think, 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 run. Okay. Don't want Jenny motion. Should have. Where'd it go? I'm losing it. I'm losing it. It's interesting. Actually, close the close the simulator. Or is it an emulator? Or is it a simulator? It might be a simulator. Chances are very good. Okay, we're loading up. This is good. I'm ready. I'm ready. Come on. Yeah! It looks terrible, but... <laughs> it's way too big. That's way too big. I think we want about half that size, right? Do you want to wait for me? Now I just need to find the stop button. 